It's time for Ryan's Roses. This is a public service. Got your mic? Sorry. You got your mic there? <laughs> you, usually you can turn it off. I usually do turn it off. And you can pull it? <laughs> okay, let's make sure we're in place. Okay. Uh, it's public service because, uh, you know, as a last resort, we always say, don't do this unless you're up against a rock and a hard place. So... Here's the email that we got. It says, Dear Ryan, my husband and I decided to move north to San Jose. My family is there, and it'll be easier for us. Well, now he wants me to leave first. He says he doesn't want to leave his job just yet, so I should make the move with the kids first and start getting situated. I don't understand his sudden change of heart unless there's a reason he doesn't want me here. So let's get Myra on the line. So, Myra, how are you? Hey, I'm okay, Ryan. How are you doing? I'm okay. Uh, you're, you're for sure going to make this move? Is that right? Yeah, we're definitely moving. We um, we live in Corona right now, but my folks live in San Jose, and we have two kids, and it's just mm. going to be easier, you know, if they get sick or something happens. I just We need some help. No, I get that. So would it not make sense that he has to stay to finish up his job? Well, Ryan, it totally makes sense, but... We, he, it was his idea, and he already planned it out, and now he wants to – I mean, he's telling me he probably won't meet us there for at least six to eight months, and oh, it was his idea. Hmm. Well, it would make sense to me if you've got to finish up a job. Right. Maybe he would come up on the weekends? Well, it doesn't sound like that's happening, but the thing that's throwing me, guys, is that, A, it was my husband's idea – we already put the deposit down on the house. He found the house right away. And when we were, I was really stressing out about the moving and the, the, the packing and the movers. Right, right. And he was just really relaxed. So it doesn't make sense. Something just isn't adding up. Is, is there any sign of another woman? Well, the fact that he's been so stress-free while I was going crazy trying to pack and coordinate the move mm-hmm. over the last two weeks, something just isn't adding up. And he switched it. This was his idea. It wasn't even my idea. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I just did a 180 out of nowhere. Exactly. He did a so 360 out of nowhere. It sounds like he uh, got cold feet. Have you talked to him about it directly? No, I, I haven't. Because, I, I mean, I know that he's got to handle the job, but it was never going to take six to eight months for him to quit the job. It's a, right. You know what I mean? He was going to give them at least a three-month notice just to... Because they've been good to him, but okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. How long have you been married? We've been married for about 12 years. And how many kids? We've got two kids, an eight-year-old and a six-year-old. So what do you think is going on? What's your guess? There's got to be somebody else, Ryan. I mean, it just, he's just, I, I think he, he did a 360. It was his idea to move out there. We already put the deposit down on the house, and he was he found the house. He suggested it, and, and he's just... I, I, there's got to be somebody else. I wish he did a 360 because then he'd be in San Jose. He did a, a he did 180. A 180. So he's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, an about face. All right, Myra, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then whatever his name is on Kiss FM. Okay. Go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call my husband on Kiss FM. Okay, so Sissini is going to offer him some flowers and we want to find out who he sends them to, and then what he puts on the card, Mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. All right, so be very quiet. You're going to hear everything. Good luck. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Anthony. Hey, let's go. Hi, Anthony. My name is Debbie. I'm calling from Sweet Blooms. We're a new flower shop here in Corona. How you doing? Hey, hey. How you doing over there? I'm good. Actually, the reason I'm calling is because we're giving away a free dozen roses today, and they're absolutely free. You can send them to anybody that you'd like. I don't need any credit card information from you or billing information. We just hope that you uh, refer us to friends and family if you like our roses. Oh, okay. All right. So I, just, I can just give them to anybody. Yeah, yeah. So I just need the name of the person you want to send them to. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Tina. Um, Tina. Okay. Tina. And then, and no, who you is... know what? Hold up. Sorry, I'm oh. tripping. I'm tripping. My bad. Squash that. Oh, okay. You're gonna send them to Myra. 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 Okay. And and who's that? That's my wife. Oh, you're with your wife. Okay, cool. 
What would you like to put on the note? Um, uh, thanks for putting up with me. Love you. You know, something like that. Thanks for putting hey, up Anthony, with me. Hey, Anthony, it is Ryan Seacrest. I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio, and your wife, Myra, is on the line. Who is Tina? Why did you almost send roses to Tina and then say you were tripping? Who is this? Who's this? Myra, your wife is there. Yeah, Who's I'm, Tina? I'm, Who's Anthony, Tina? Right oh, no. no, Tina's a co-worker. I was, I, was, I was doing an email while I was sending her, and I was just, I, my mind went blank for a second. What, what, yeah, Myra. Anthony, yep. Anthony, I'm right here. Look, what is going on? You're sending us to San Jose six to eight months, and now you're sending roses to Tina. You know, if something's going on. You need to you tell me now. What, what, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Um, what are you, uh, Anthony, you? Anthony, your, your wife thinks you're cheating on her. You send flowers to this Tina. What's going on between you and Tina? I didn't send no flowers. You, you just, you, you just did, did send flowers to Tina. You just stopped yourself from doing it. Who so is who is Tina? that? No, I admit what I'm saying. Tina is a co- my wife. Know who I talk about Tina all the time. This is my coworker, one of my many coworkers. Do you know you Tina know. Myra? I don't. He talks about work all the time, so I. Yeah, I'm. He may have said the name, I but I don't know before. her. So, Anthony, why is it that you are sending your wife and your kids up to San Jose? This was all your idea to do this, to be closer to your parents so that they could take care and help with the kids. And now you've done a 180. You've said, I'm, I'm staying back six to eight months. Why are you staying back? Because I talk to my wife knows all about this. I, the, the she reason, doesn't know I, all about this. The, the reason we... Or I'm moving up there. All I'm, I have to stay back because we got some important stuff going down at work. I'm up for promotion, so I just can't roll like I thought I did. We, I talked. My wife knows about that. I talked to her about this. But so your I, wife, I, your, your your wife thinks that you're staying back because there's another woman. So there, there's something oh that triggered that thought. Are you staying back for Tina? Well, absolutely not. I'm staying back because I want to keep my job, and I'm trying to get. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on. We got a lot of, you know, important projects. I just can't leave. I thought we I could leave right now, but I can't leave okay. right but now. Anthony, Anthony, honey, we, we're we moving to San Jose. You got to leave that job. You just said you want to keep the job. The whole point was for us to move to San Jose. It's your idea, I, and now you're trying to we are to moving. the job? We are moving. I'm just going to commute for six months. Because I got stuff to do. We talked about this. I mean, it's... it's what do you... It's, don't look, do that. We have not fully talked about it. You you mentioned Tina. Don't do not do not do that and try to make me feel like I'm crazy, Anthony. Okay, but Myra, Myra, but the whole move, that's between you guys. We're here to find out if there's somebody else. So, Anthony, are you cheating on your wife, Myra? Absolutely not. Myra, do you believe your husband, Anthony? I don't, but you know what? I'm going to... If something's going on with this Tina girl or somebody at work, I'm going to find out, Anthony. You just, you know, like you better, you should watch yourself. Who did I send the flowers to, Ryan? Who did well, I you, you, to? you started sending them to Tina. Mm -hmm. Because you called me at work. I was sending an email to her, and I, it just my mind went he blank. Said, and, Ryan who, said, who did I send them to? he said, you said, you sent, but then you sent them to your wife. I <laughs> believe you, Anthony. I don't think you're cheating. I actually believe you. I Thank don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but I believe that you're not cheating. I think you're staying back for work. That's what I think. Thank hang on, both of you. Just hang on, both of you.